Welcome everyone to the Season 6 Recruitment Special for Nagaland. I've got some good news. We've got quite a bit of budget uh, and we possibly could open up the checkbook to get some new players in to strengthen up our squad as we look to go for a three-peat mainly in the Ranji Trophy and look to maybe push for a title on the one day and the 20 over stuff. Let's go over all the players that have got inspired contracts, shall we, and see um, if they will remain in the side. Sanjeev Badani, last year... Solid numbers in the first class, 450s, 200s, 150, an average of 35 in the one-day comp. I can probably get him on a reasonable deal. So we'll sign him up for three years. I just think he's a good, adequate backup for the other opening um, batsmen in the team. Prasmir Oasis, uh, we'll look at his last year to see how he went. Yeah, numbers are a wee bit down on last year. But I think he's still a talent. Like, Monday comp, uh, 250s, an average of 34.87, high score of 78. Considering we were his batting and a good strike rate, I'm very happy with that. Uh, first class, he got limited opportunities. So he's a wee bit behind the pecking order there. But I think he deserves a three-year contract. Because he's only 21, and I think we can get a lot out of him, personally. Uh, Joel is our backup keeper effectively in the first class comp and probably the starting um, wicket keeper in the one day competition and he can open the batting as well uh, as you can see his numbers last year were solid 250s at 34.27 high score of 81 high score of 47 not out average of 32.33 in the one day comp a reasonable strike rate I, I think you sign um, Joel up for a two year deal there uh, Lemter uh, we'll go over Lemter's stats I think Lemter um, is sort of on the decline a wee bit now. He was really good in the 20 over comp. Uh, nine wickets, average of 12.67. But the one day comp, um, he took nine wickets at 35.11. Got a comedy rate in all. And the one first class match at 50.5 per wicket. So I think it's his time to move on. May free up a bit of budget. Of course, Rashid Khan will be signed um, for the club. Um, we'll just go over his current career for our Nagaland as you can see he's had very good success for us 20 um, first class matches 97 wickets at 22.34 6 5 is a 110 for in a match one day competition 31 matches 41 uh, 48 wickets at an average of 28.54 1 5 wicket bag and 31 20 over matches at uh, 45 wickets 16.18 the average there so yeah I think Rashid Khan picks up another contract for us it's a good asset to have. Young Sampath Khan. He's picked up a contract for the Chennai Super Kings. He's had a few opportunities here and there. He's sort of developing. He showed a wee bit of class in a few of the games. I reckon this guy's got the goods. So I think he deserves a three-year contract. We've got to stick with our youth there. JL Jafar. Age 23. Six first-class games. Seven wickets average of 70. Fortunately, not up to the mark. One day competition, he was good in patches. 18 wickets at 37.72. 20 over stuff. I think Jafar, we unfortunately moved on. And Shukla. Swamp Nil Shukla, 23 years of age. He's had a few games for us now. 23 wickets at 41.09 in first class. But he was reasonable last year. 15 wicks at 32, 13 wicks at 25.38, and 11 at 13.18. I think Shukla deserves a two-year contract. So that's who I'll sign from that, and we've got a wee bit of budget um, left over, so we might be able to hunt down a few players. The youth players are not too outstanding, unfortunately, just looking at them, both batsmen. So I probably won't sign them. So our squad um, will have... 20 players in it currently and we'll look to sign a few players on so that's the first part of the process done guys let's see what we do in round one of signing players okay so the board has come back to us i try to exit just to see if we needed a minimum amount of players in our squad they've asked us to get 23 players in our squad so the first thing i'll do is sign the reserve overseas player and I think I've found someone just quite handy when Rashid Khan is away um, for however long. And I've picked up uh, Shihan Jayasuriya. He'll do a reasonable job with the bat and he'll do a good job with the ball as well. It's just um, 
someone that will add a bit of depth to the batting if we need it. So he's got a pretty good career across the board. 42.69 is average over 116 games. 49.50s, 1200s. 38.50s, 1000s and average of 35.9 in one day. 14.50s, 100 at an average of 23.37 and 20 over stuff. 314 wickets at 26.72. Uh, 237 wickets at 31.26 is quite okay as well and 20 over stuff yeah okay sort of part time-ish there but I think that is a solid um, signing for us and that's who we'll pick up for um, our backup uh, reserves overseas players so we're most likely looking at the youth players guys I'll scour through the list and see who we can pick up this took a while in the uh, next round of contracts for us here, guys, that we're trying to offer to some players uh, before I had to scare through all the all-rounders. I just want to bolster up in that area because after um, J.S. Soria, we've only got really Tiger and um, this guy here who's in the very infancy of his career. So really, we need to design that uh, all-rounder here, and I'm hoping we pick him up. Let's quickly scroll down here, and yeah, he's got modest numbers, uh, Manu Gull. Hasn't done much with the bat, obviously developmental contract. He's done a wee bit with the ball, taken a few wickets, so he's more of a bowling all-rounder by the looks. Good averages there in the 20-over format, 3-day format. Yeah, reasonable numbers again, just similar to Tyagi's numbers, but Tyagi's a proven performer. That's one of the signings we picked up. And we've also got a left arm seam bowler in our unit, hopefully, if we get Badani. And he's got good numbers across the board as well. So they they probably won't play too much, these two guys that were about to sign, but it just gets our squad numbers up to 23, which is excellent. Our squad's looking really good for this season coming up. Yeah, um, Jay Sarir, uh, good experienced reserve player coming in. Obviously, the two um, young bowlers coming in as well. Like, obviously, we'll want to move on this contract here potentially. If he doesn't perform, he'll get a few goes this season. Um, Jaffer, that is. But I feel as though this team could um, go places big time. And I really hope they do. Like, hopefully, they defy predictions. But that brings an end to the episode, guys. Smash the like button, share with a friend, and we'll see you next time.